not like anyone can see them. Or maybe they can. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. This is Ian. Is there a new corner? It's actually not that new. It's just a new angle for you. So welcome to this new corner. Uh, last week, it's, uh, it's not r and it's SNS, Strength and Swings tonight. Last week, we worked on our slow get-ups to start, and then we're going to do that again, and we're going to work for more time in our get-ups, kind of like our, our theme has been the past couple Thursdays. But first, yes, time under tension, but first, let's breathe and lie down. Lying down on your back, however you'd like to find the floor. Oh, take a second there first. Plant your feet, tuck your chin, place your hands on your belly, close your mouth, maybe close your eyes too. Take a couple in and exhales at your own pace. And start thinking about where that breath is going. Are the hands on my belly rising and falling? Or are my hands stationary and it's actually coming in more my chest? and my chest is lifting. If that's the case, let's get rid of that chest breathing and try to fill that belly. We'll join together here, taking a nice inhale for four counts. In, and exhale for four. Trying to make the belly inhale and fill, and exhale and fall. Same pattern one more time, inhale for four, Filling all sides of the belly. Exhale for four. Inhale for four. At the top of this inhale, like now, we're going to hold our breath for four. And then exhale for four. Hold your breath for four. Inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. One more time. Hold four. Inhale four. Hold four. One more exhale. Last hold and relax. Return to normal breathing, but try to keep your mouth closed, breathing in and out your nose as we go here. Let's gently straighten one leg towards the ceiling, saying hello to hamstring that first time. Does it get nice and straight? Is it tight and bent? That's okay too. Flex your foot, point your foot, flex your foot, bend the knee and return it to the floor, switching legs. Other leg gently extends. Flexing the foot, pointing the foot, flexing and pulling the leg closed. Back to that first leg again, knee comes up, slowly straightens. Let's go right to that pointed foot. Can you straighten your knee a bit more? And then can you externally rotate at that hip to try to show your inseam to your face? And then back to center and internally rotate that leg to try to hide your inseam. Repeat again, show yourself your inseam of your pants. Center, hide your inseam. Center, straighten that knee. Now keep your knee straight as you pull your foot to your shin. Oh, and then slowly bending the knee, returning it down to the floor. Other side, leg comes up. With a pointed foot, it slowly straightens. Nice straight knee. Let's try to externally rotate, showing your face, your inseam of your pants. Then to center, an internal rotation. Center, one more time. External rotation. Center, an internal rotation. Center, great. Keep that leg nice and straight. Slowly flex the foot. Ah, bend the knee. Place it down. Back to that first leg again. This time we'll bring the leg up, grab behind the knee, so we're more passive with our leg here. And we're going to look at our ankle. Let's start with a pointed foot. Slowly start drawing an ankle circle towards the center of your body. 
we're going to do a half circle here. So I'm slowly coming to about quarter after a quarter two, depending on your foot, and around to half past on the clock. Once I get to half past, I'm going to push through that and point my foot again. Now I'm going to draw the half circle to the outside of my body, scraping the outer corners of that circle to the dorsiflex foot, and then pointing the foot again. Let's do that one more time. Towards the center of your body, draw that half circle. Slow control. Imagine you're gripping your socks with your toes here. Dorsiflex foot, and then point. Grip those socks, go to the lateral side here, trying to reach out in a way. Pull the foot on straight. Let's straighten the knee and keep the foot flexed, and then gently bend the knee, placing it down. Same thing, other ankle, other leg. Tiring, says Ian. Wait till we get up. Leg comes up. From here, grab the back of the knee. Gently point your foot again. Start drawing that half circle towards the midline of the body. Oh, yeah, nice and controlled, taking your time. I'm just getting to that half pass now. And then I'll do a full pointed foot. And then I'll draw that half circle to the outside of the body. And pull it on straight. Nice, come back to the pointed foot. Regrip those socks. Start drawing this half circle towards your midline. Keep those socks underneath your toes. And on straight. And then point the foot. And last half circle to the outside. Outside, outside, outside. Pulling to center. Pointing. And shake it off. Great. We'll do one more thing while we're here, because it just, I love it so much. Arms up to the side, legs go out straight. Bring your knee towards your chest with a flexed foot. Let your knee fall slightly over, but keep those shoulders down. And then slowly straighten at the knee. Oh, pulling that foot towards you. And then bend the knee, pull the leg to center, and switch sides. Knee comes in, falls slightly over, slowly straightens at the knee. Bends, pulls to center, leg extends. One more time each side. Knee comes in, falls over, slowly starts to straighten. Try to keep that flexed foot, shoulders down. Bend the knee, pull it to center. Last time other side. Knee comes in, falls over, gently straightens. Oh yeah. Then bend the knee, and pull it back to center and let it rest. Great. From here, we'll flip to, oh, I have a treat for you. Flip to your side. The treat is a stretch. Don't get too excited. Maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ian's excited. Straighten your bottom leg. Bring your top knee over. Your bottom hand grips your top knee. Head's hovering off the floor for now. Take your top arm, cross it across your body. Slowly just crunch forward, then reach away from center, reaching long. Head finds the floor. Inhale, exhale, rotate that upper body away. Keep that knee heavy on the floor. Take another inhale. Exhale, try to rotate. Keep that shoulder packed. One more time, inhale. Exhale, try to rotate. Pull back to center, oh, little over crunch, relax, switch sides. Same thing other side, so bottom leg is straight, top knee comes over, grip that top knee, hey, oh, top arm across your body, gently crunch forward. Now think about reaching long and off the back corner, take a nice inhale, and then exhale, rotate, and then inhale, exhale, rotate, and one more time, inhale, exhale, rotate, pull yourself to center, 
And then slowly make your way first to all fours here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We're going to fire up our wrists quick, so spread those fingers out on the floor. Pack your shoulders. Rotate your elbow pits forward or your blood donations forward. forward. Slowly shift your weight over your hands, and then push your hands into the floor to push yourself back. Repeat, straight elbows, slowly forward, and then push into the floor to back. And last time, straight elbows, shift forward, pushing back. Great, just hang out in your, this position, your tall kneel for a couple seconds. I did my hair for you today, can't you tell? Yeah. Oops, Ian. All right, back out to hands here. I'd like to go through our hip circles, one each way. Put the bowl of water on your back, don't let it spill. Bend your outside, or bend a knee, slowly kick the ceiling. Check in, did you spill your water or are you still square to the floor? Kick the ceiling without arching your low back. Now start drawing a circle around as if you're lifting your leg to lift and hurdle all the way over. Knee comes towards the elbow, pulls underneath, and returns to where you started. Now brush that knee up towards your chest. Lift it out to the side. Draw a circle with that knee as you start reaching around behind you, slowly kicking the ceiling. Square up those hips, try to reach a little bit more, and then pull the knee underneath and relax. Take time off your hands for a second, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Find the floor, brace your abs, put that bowl of water on your back. We'll do hip extension first, so bend that knee, start kicking the ceiling, stay square to the floor, Slowly start turning the corner, lifting that leg, coming up and around. Knee comes towards the elbow, and then it comes underneath your body to go back to where it started, and we'll switch directions. Pull that knee towards the elbow this time. Lift it to the side without tipping. Draw that circle as you do some internal rotation, reaching around behind you, kicking the ceiling, and then pulling the knee underneath. Awesome. We're gonna tuck our toes, lift our knees, slowly pedal your heels, straighten the knees, lift those toes up. Slowly walk your hands to your feet or your feet towards your hands and make your way to tall. Nice. Ha! Ah, grab a little sip if you want. Maybe a light bell for some halos and some windmills to warm up with. I'm going to get my nice light bell healed today. I have quite a selection today. I couldn't make up my mind. So let's just get organized here with the outfits. You'll stand facing your bell, up tall. Let's pull ourselves down into our low squat. Pulling ourselves to your low, hanging out here for a couple seconds. Maybe shifting weight, knees pull over your toe, push over your toes, chest is lifted, heels are down. If your heels can't come down, you lift up a little bit. Now grip your bell with that overhand grip, so thumbs are down. Curl, hop, tall. From here, halo, so ear, back of head, ear, front. Same direction, notice in the back here, my get bell gets to be right side up. Really try to get all the way back there without moving your head. One more, same way. Bell moves around you. Your upper body and lower body are not moving. Same thing, other direction for about three. High ponies can get in the way, so just be careful. But squeeze ribs to hips, all the way to center. Step to your squat position. Pull yourself down. Extend your arms, bell goes on the floor, stand up with it. Shake it off. We're gonna go into our windmill here. I'm gonna load from the top. You can load from the top or from the bottom in this. Ian's gonna do the bottom position here. 
If we're in the top position, we're doing our cheat clean to get it there. You can also do a body weight windmill as well. If you're with me loaded from the top, let's use our cheat clean to rack. Press our bell. If you're with Ian, your bell is in your far foot or your outside foot. Back leg stays straight for both of us. Chop our hips, front knee bends. Push that hip back like you're hinging. Stand up tall by driving your hips all the way through. Repeat, chop hip, back hip pushes away from you. Back knee stays straight. Front chin and stays vertical the whole time. Last one, push those hips back. Vertical shin, up tall. If you're with me, feet point forward, bell pulls down, two hands, hinge. Shake it out. Same thing, other side. Put your foot to your, bell to your other foot if you're there. With me, cheek clean to rack. Press, pivot, away from the bell. Chop hips, both of us, front shin is vertical, knees allowed to bend, back leg nice and straight. Hinge, all the way tall. Repeat, hip hinge, rotate under that bell, all the way tall. One more time, hip hinge, up to tall. Feet go forward, bell pulls down, two hands, park. Great, shaking it out. Getting into a set of our single leg deadlifts. With a bell or body weight, working on our hinge, but from a single leg. We'll stand with our foot right next to a kettlebell. Arch in line with that ball of the bell there. Standing tall, take the single leg, reach it back as you hinge on your leg that's standing. Hinging meaning your shin is vertical, feet are gripping the floor. If you can, find your bell, pack your shoulder, brace your abs, come up as one unit. Once you're tall, hinge again on those hips, push the butt back, Stay square, full weight to the floor, repack shoulder, rebrace, up as one. One more time on this leg. Nice, slow, and controlled all the way down. Square up, pack, up as one. Hinge, bell goes down, stay square, up without. Whew. Switch sides. Let's work. Grip with those feet, so keep that arch up the whole time. Don't let the knee cave in either. Ready? Chop hip. Reach back. Vertical shin. Squared up. Load it. Up tall. Hip hinge. Reach along. Stay square. And up. One more time. Hip hinge. Reach along. Square. Up tall. Last hinge down. Let go, up without. Excellent. All right, we're gonna get into our get ups right now. First get up is like we did last week, but I won't do it as slow, but we paused in every position for 10 seconds? Today's five. Five seconds, says Ian, not 10 seconds. So we're gonna be pausing in each get up position for five seconds. Yeah, lightish load, getting warmed up. This will be our slowest get up, but then we might spend just as much time doing get ups, but three in a row. All you need to know right now is come down to the floor with or without a bell to slowly move through our get up. Start first in your cuddle position. Two hands roll to your back, press your bell, hold. Five, three, two, Push, roll, pull to elbow, hold. Five, three, two, move to your hand. Five, three, two, lift, sweep, hold. Five, hand leaves floor and front foot moves, hold. Five, three, two, up, hold. Five, three, Two, step back lunge, pause at the bottom. Three, 
to front foot moves and hinge hand finds floor hold three two lift sweep hold find your elbow three two and last time to your back holding fire range two one two hands on bell pull it down cuddle Ooh, that was a minute and 10-ish seconds. I don't know. Should be a minute drill if I do it right, so I'm a little slow. Yeah. Let's do it again. Cuddle. Roll, press. Five. Use your hip extension. To elbow, five. Find your hand, five. Lift, sweep, five. Hand leaves floor and front foot moves, five. Up to tall, five. Step back, lunge, five. Front foot moves, hinge and rotate. Lift, sweep. To your elbow and slowly to your back. Two hands. Bell pulls Little down. Five seconds there, Laura. Oh, sorry. Cuddle. We'll see. Thank you. Come on up. How was that? That was about the minute. Good. Quick little sip. I'm a little parched here today. We're getting to warm up our stop swings here. Single arm, sorry, I meant to say, we're gonna warm up our single arm swings here for more swings today. Start first with up to five single arm stop swings. If you don't know, watch first. Hinge, grip, through, swing, through, park. Repeat for five. Keep it tight to your zipper, squeeze your butt, brace your abs at the top, swing to chest level. If you need more details on swings, check out the basics video. Ready, hinge, grip bell, pack shoulder. Inhale, pull, swing, through, park. Repeat, pull. Three more. Remember you're in that plank position. Strong exhale. Are you breathing through your nose when you do your swings too? Good. Same thing other side. Grip, pack, pull. Park. Punch his stomach. Punch his butt. Last one. Shake it out. Stop, sir. Stop, sir. I was just going to say. It's feeling a little bit heavy right now. Okay, mouth's closed, breathing. Our routine is pretty simple, doesn't make it easy. We're gonna take our, say our right arm, and we're gonna do three get-ups in a row with our bell on our right side. And then we're gonna come down and take a little break, and then we're gonna do three in a row on our left side. If you're at home thinking, whoa, three in a row, Lauren, you're crazy. No, I'm not, but, well, this. we have practice for this. If you don't feel comfortable in your third one going up with the load, just place your load down and finish your third get-up body weight. Also very appropriate. Grab something that's challenging, but doable. Get ready. I'm not going to walk you through. You work at your own pace, but we're going to have lots of time to finish these three get-ups. I will say, though, when you come down to that firing range position, keep the bell up and then just go back up. You don't have to press every time. Here we go. Three get ups in a row on the first side you choose. Three, two, here you go. Take your time. Three full fluid get ups. I'm looking at my bell as I do my get up, breathing when I need to, bracing all the time. No rush.
I'm coming up to my last get up here. Ian's bell is probably a little heavier. That's why he's a little faster. <laughs> Finishing with control. Breathe. I think I've ever done three with this load. Three with that load, says Ian. That's new. That's great. You've been practicing. Good thing you've been doing bars and bells so regularly. Regularly. Regularity. With regularity. I'm just buying us some break time here. Break time. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Three more get ups. We're already going to be at six get ups, not including the warm up. All right, take your breath, prepare. Three in a row, same pace. Still trying to keep each move nice and distinct, not blending it all together. Last one here, bar three. Take your time, breathing, catching your breath. Mm -hmm. In and out through the nose. You should see more trying to drink water with your mouth closed. You can't drink water with your mouth closed. Don't try, don't try. Mm. Don't try. Uh, Good things you have a nose though, because then you can breathe and drink at the same time. Those babies. Fives. We're just going to do five swings. Are you going to do stop swings? We're going continuous swings. I'm going to do five right, five left. Back to our get ups. Here we go. Hinge. Continuous swings. Up to five. Go. Shake it off for a second. Same thing, same thing other side. When you put your bell down on your fifth swing, make sure your mouth is closed when you take that first, first breath to recover. Here we go. Hinge, grip, pull. Mouth closed. Breathe. In and out through your nose into your belly and try to slow down your breath to not swing quickness but to normal breath quickness for about 10 more seconds and are you about back to normal there good I can't close my mouth and talk. No, no, no. Oh, watch my bell. I thought he told me to close my mouth. No, no, watch your close your mouth when you talk to me. No. All right. Two get ups in a row. It's going to feel like so much less than three. Or one less than three. It's about 33% less. Approximately 0. 0.3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4. You got to round up at some point. All right. No pennies anymore. Two. Here we go. Two in a row. Three, two, cuddle, roll, press. Two get ups.
Catch your breath. Good. Adjust as needed. Like spinning around. How did that two go? Good. My two went really great too. Nicer than doing three. All right. Second side. Two again in a row. Cuddle. A roll press. Here we go. Nice. Breathing, taking your time, coming to standing. A little sip if you'd like. Preparing to do our 10 swings again, five and five. And once we're done those 10 swings, we'll take our 30 seconds or so to slow down your breath. Set up in your swing stance, five and five or three and five, or I mean three and three. Be even on each side, whatever number you pick. Hinge, grip, up to five. Continuous. Remember when you swing single arm, both hips come through, through and stay square at the top. Same thing on the other side, hinge, grip, five. Park, closing your mouth, in and out your nose, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale and exhale. Great. I had a hard time keeping pace with that counting. Trying not to speed up my breath or just slow down my breath. Mm -hmm. Your heart's still going, but you can slow that breath. All right. Let's get up today. One and one. One and one. No problem. One each side. Little break in between sides. Cuddle. Here we go. Last get up on this side today. So that was get up number seven on that side as you're finishing that up. Right in this workout, we'll have done 14 get ups. It's not too shabby. No, that's nice. For Ian's birthday this past year, we uh, decided to do his age in get ups. It was work. More than 30. Yeah, we won't tell you. More than 30, let's just say. Not in a row, not in a row. Alternating sides, but still. Longer than I expected. All right. Last get up today. Fourteen get ups today. Nice control to finish. We have one more set of swings here. Get organized. 
Get that breath. Five swings each side to finish this up here. Get ready, hinge, grip, five. Park, breathe, shake, same thing, other side, hinge, grip, swing, park, close your mouth, hands on your belly, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out. One more, in, out, ready, hold your breath, five. Four, two, and breathe. <sighs> well, that last little one was whether it was hard to talk and to hold or just to hold after that. <clears throat> yeah, I got a little choked up there. Let's finish with my favorite frog stretch. Cue the cushy mats. I like mats for under my knees here, or a nice carpet or yoga mat or something. We're gonna come down to this floor once my imaginary mat shows here. Ooh, look at that, the magic of TV. Let's come on down, knees slide wide, feet out in line, shins parallel, elbows find the floor. First, let's tilt our tail to the ceiling. I'm oh, sorry, I can move back, and then tuck under. That low back only. Tilt our tail to the ceiling and then tuck. <clears throat> Slight tilt this time, so not too tilted, not too untilted. Gently rock forward and back. And rock forward. And our mouths are closed and we're still breathing into that belly. We exhale as we slide back here. One more time. If you want some added Ian bonus here, we would slide our elbows forward this time. <clears throat> Maybe hips can find the floor here without arching that low back. Trust me, I understand what you're feeling right now if they're not touching the floor easily. And then, could you put the bottom of those feet together? Oh, and not arch your low back. That's pretty good, Ian. Can you see Ian there? No, you're, I'm in the way. Look at that. Nice tucked low back. Good. Feet are together. They're cheating a bit because they're reaching for the floor. They're pretty good. And then maybe you're working more like me just to even find the floor without arching your low back. Know that that's okay, too. And then maybe you can't even like feet. Oh, yeah, we're working on that. I, I can't. Now I can't. There. There. Three. There. Two. And slowly relax out of that. Always a work in progress. Thanks for joining us tonight for 14 get-ups and some swings. That was a great time. Very efficient and effective. Yeah, somebody worked up a sweat. Yeah. I did too, actually. Anyway, bars and bells, my name's Lauren. This is Ian. This was Strength and Swings. We'll do the similar workout next Tuesday. Well, and next Thursday. We have restart, restore and recharge tomorrow at 9 a.m., and some handstands in the morning routine this weekend. From the beach. From the beach. Check out our YouTube channel. We've uploaded some more get up workouts and et cetera. And our membership at barsandbells.com. Thanks for joining. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye. bye.